Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, as always, you can check out the timestamps down in the description or on the play bar to see if you want to jump around from one part of the video to another in case you want to skip the intro or so on. Anyways, back to another tutorial here on the channel. I hope you enjoy it. If you learned something from today or you like it, please give it a like or a sub that would mean uh, or a follow that would mean a lot to me. Um, and yeah, let's jump right into this video. Today we'll be going over how to customize a game here on chess.com. It'll be a tutorial that's usually a little quicker than, than the ones that I usually have, but I think one that is very useful on how to customize your game. And specifically, we'll be looking at how to play an unrated match here on chess.com. So in case that you are trying out new openings or new strategies and you don't want to play a rated game and maybe lose because of your 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 new attempts at what you're trying to do this might be a really good feature for you to try uh, or as well if you've reached a rating that you're very happy with and you might just want to relax a little bit and not be so competitive the unrated section might be um, something that you might be more interested in anyways here is my dashboard which is probably very very similar to yours and today we will be uh, exploring that so how do we go and customize our own game? That is very simple. We're gonna go to new games here on the chess.com dashboard. So you're just gonna click new game. And then it's gonna load. Right after it loads, it's gonna give you this little menu here for you to see. And right here under custom game, you are gonna click that. And it's actually gonna give you many different, uh, well, not many different, but just a few different little uh, settings that you can change. So. First of all, you can change the, the type of game that you want to play. You can play a standard, chess 960, so on. And then if you don't know what each one is, the, there is a little question mark here on the side where you can go and actually uh, learn more about that sort of type of, uh, of game of chess you might be playing. Furthermore, you can go here and you can actually pick the type of uh, game that you want to play, whether it be bullet, um, blitz, or rapid, and how long you want the duration to be for your, uh, for your turn and your opponent. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good there. We can close that. Now the next one is actually pretty cool. You can actually pick who you want to play. It could be either a random person here on chess.com, or you can invite a friend from your friend list here on chess.com, or even better, you can actually send a link to somebody and you can play with them. Um, this is actually a very useful feature in case you have friends that do not have a chess.com account and you just want to play with them very casually over, um, over, over online, you know, so you just send them a link. They don't need an account. They don't need to sign up or anything. They just click on the link and then you start your game. Very useful in case you want to play somebody and they don't want to commit to having an account here on chess.com. We go back now. And now the part where we are talking about rated on unrated games, uh, there's this little section here where you can toggle and it says rated. So if you turn that on, the opponent that you will be playing will be a match that is rated. So winner will gain rating points, loser will lose rating points, or if it's a tie, depending on the level, you may gain, lose, or not, uh, or nothing at all. And you can actually customize the rating range of who you want to play. So you can go uh, below as much as you want, or you can go infinite, doesn't matter who, as long as they fall within a number below your current rating, you might be eligible to play with them and how high as well you want to play with somebody within your range. So I currently have my customized to plus 25 because I like to keep things uh, around the same rating level as me to keep things fair and, and so on. But if you are looking to play somebody that is way higher than you, whether that be in a rated match or an unrated match, you can do so as well if that's something that you want, if you're looking to improve and so on. Um, and yes, so that's how you uh, affect or you change the rating range of who you want to play with. And then yeah just things to note the smaller you constrict this uh range the longer the sort of the i guess the the engine will take to search for an opponent within that range because there has to be somebody within that rating range that is online and wanting to play a game so it may take a little longer to find somebody who wants to play um yes anyways in order to play an unrated match you just take that part off and you just go ahead you will click random as well as i said and you can actually customize even further if you want to play uh, as white or you want to play as black in 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 the thing um but yeah you can play random random pieces or as white or black you can specify and so on so again this is great for if you're trying any opening or so on this is what you can do 
Another thing to note, every time usually you close and you open back up and you try and play a new game, you might have to click every single time an unrated game. Once you're in game and you just click play another one, that will actually allow you to, and it will just keep going as unrated, unrated. But when you uh, log out or when you come back in, usually, or that has been the case for myself, that I have to come back in into the settings and make sure that I click that it is not rated because there's been times that I forget, I jump in and boom, I am playing a rated game. So it's something that I may not really want. Um, and yeah, that is how you play an unrated match here on chess.com. I hope you all learned something from this. If you did, please uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe. And yeah, if you're interested in any of my other tutorials, here's some that you can uh, check out. Thank you so much for checking out the channel and hope this was useful. See you all next time.